Gabriel or Rosalie? Or twins? What, you've never seen a baby wall before? It's like a vision board, but for when you really want a baby. You know, like Oprah talks about. I'm about to turn 40 and I feel like my uterus is closing up shop. What I wouldn't give for a nice, big, strong husband. I've decided I want a husband. So I go to singles group. There are no decent guys in this town, but I guess I haven't given up hope that some interesting fellow will get lost and wander in here. And the coffee's pretty good. Um, excuse, I was- Oh, just, hey Charles. Hey Daisy. How's it going, man? What's up? Um, I was just wondering, I mean, I've seen you here a couple times now, and I was just thinking that, you know, it wouldn't hurt to ask, and I was just wondering, could, could I have your number? When I wasn't at singles group or staring at pictures of babies on my wall, I worked as a librarian, one of the most interesting human beings in the entire world, teenagers. Look at this dude wearing a fucking dress. What are you doing that? Look, a little fairy. They let fucking Caitlyn Jenner in here. That hurt. We are coming through. Hey! Get off me, losers. Hey! Get out of here. Go to class. Both of you, out. Keep your bitch on a leash. Sorry, oh, I think you look really cool. Whatever, you're old. Hey, I'm not that old. I'm like 20 years older than you. I'm the kind of old that still has a cool perspective on the world. Hey, have a good class. So how's singles group going? Mm. Oh, really good. Really? Oh yeah, there's like three guys on the verge of proposal. You're impossible. <laughs> okay, so you remember Charles from Singles Group, the sweaty guy? Well, I ended up giving him my number. For a split second, I thought about writing down a random assortment of seven numbers, but that's exactly the kind of shit this world doesn't need. Perpetuating entries and being polite for the sake of being polite. So, I agreed to copy. Why the hell not? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Hmm? I mean, if you weren't here today at this coffee shop, what would you normally be doing? Um, World of Warcraft. Oh, that's awesome. You really think so? Well, mm. I don't really know what it is, but. Oh, it, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's. Just... Interests. Mm. <sighs> Shopping antiques and book club. Hmm. Yeah. Miss Daisy, can we eat lunch in here? What? Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy. What? Can we eat lunch in here? Hmm. Yeah. Migasa su lunchroom. So about my romantical daydreams, number three on the list, just under me wanting a baby of my own and a dreamy husband, I love horses, like I really love them. So most of my daydreams involve me on a horse or me, the baby on a horse or a hot guy on a horse or just like a horse eating grass or something. Hey. Uh, 
So how was the library today? Oh, you know, lots of books and hormonal teenagers. Well, you're lucky. When I was your age, I was cleaning motel rooms. Nothing puts mm -hmm. things in perspective like cleaning a dirty motel room. I'm sure there are other things, you know, like being a starving child in Africa or being diagnosed with cancer. And you know, dating has changed so much since I was young. Literally everything's changed since you were young. Yeah, but you know, y'all have all the sites and apps. Yeah, like Match? Yeah, and Timber. Are you on that? You mean Tinder? Yeah, <laughs> you should try that. <laughs> you know, I went on it last week just to see what all the fuss was about. Mom! What? You cannot do that. So what if someone saw you on there that people would think you're trying to cheat on dad? Oh, who cares what they think? Um, me? Anyway, I deleted it. Mm. Give me your phone. Oh, oh no. Come on, Wait. let's just download it and see what's out there. See what's on there? It'll be a fun mother-daughter activity. Mm. I can't tell you how much I don't want that. Oh. oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot about this. John, that I work with. Mm-hmm. He's cute. Oh, no. Smart. No ring, from what I can tell. No. I'll set up a double date with your dad and me. I literally hate everything about that sentence. Oh, don't be such a downer. It'll be fun. Please promise me you won't do that. Mom, stop. I want you both to know the only reason why I'm doing this is so I don't have to hear about it for the next nine Thanksgivings, about how I didn't give this guy a chance. Now, honey, how do you know that tonight you're not gonna meet the man that'll finally set you free? The man who what? Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Oh. Big smile. Hi, I'm John. Your mom says you're trying to get pregnant. <laughs> Not going back to his place? No, Mom. Well, I think he was very nice. Here we go. Well, I think it went especially well. That guy could have been Adolf Hitler and you would have thought it went really well. What do you mean by that? You don't care who I date, you just want me to date somebody. That's not true. It's totally true. What's wrong with John? Mom, John probably invented missionary position. Daisy, not in front of your father. Such a snooze fest. You're just too picky. Maybe I am. Well, maybe you'll just end up alone. Maybe I'm okay with that. Malcolm Drive. This, girl, that's your sperms. They come in a lunch bag? They come in a container that's in the bag. You gotta throw that out, though, those frozen sperms. Lovely. Do you know what to do? Seems pretty straightforward. Syringe my vagina. The main thing is, get in a comfortable position. Stay in that position for a while. Insert the sperm slowly. Otherwise, they spray everywhere, and that ain't no good for nobody. <laughs> Got it. Also, it's good to have an orgasm as it's happening. I'm sorry, what? Use a vibrator or something. 
get y'all stimulated, and you get some more sperms up inside you. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna go now. Okay, baby. God bless. Remember, slowly. Okay, guys, so I've never been one to give pep talks, but I did do remember the Titans once in college, and I, I want you to know that I believe in you, and I really think this is going to work. Well, it better work, because I don't have another $400 to spend on you little guys. So you get in there and you swim like you've never swum before. You put your propellers on and you just fly up in there into my uterus like you're trying to win an Olympic medal. judgment right now please I'm freaking out oh no kidding this is what I want right have you taken the whatever test yet not yet oh my god what if tomorrow you meet the man of your dreams and you're pregnant he'll run screaming why are you so hung up on me meeting a man because I want my daughter to be happy I am happy no, you're not. Thanks for letting me share anything with you. It means a lot. Don't be sarcastic. It's exhausting. You're exhausting. If I happen to meet a man that is cool and interesting and happens to be the man of my dreams, he will not run away screaming if he finds out I'm pregnant. He'll love me because I'm me. Maybe that's something you could work on. Stay and uncle your lip bowl Cause your best bet you took out alone 